Providence College basketball players are charged with a violent assault. The victim remains in the hospital right now. And tonight we're hearing from PC's coach for the first time. Highway to Sioux reporter Alex DePrado joins us now live outside Providence College with our top local story. Mike and Karen, the attack happened right here at this intersection early this morning. This is Huxley Avenue and Eaton Street. Police say the two players decided to attack the next male they saw, and a fellow student became a victim. Dried blood on the sidewalk at Providence College marked the spot where 19-year-old Yurkin Ab Drake Mainoff was jumped early Monday morning. Police say his attackers are Providence College basketball players Johnny Lacey and James Still. The commotion woke students sleeping in a nearby dorm. When I heard the sirens, I said, oh, gee, something must be wrong. So that's when I jumped up and there, you know, there was a scene. He looked pretty banged up. I mean, it, the, the ambulance got there really fast. Sometimes it takes him a few minutes. Providence police say Lacey and Still pick their victim at random, breaking his nose and eye socket in the attack. The college has suspended both players. We're very concerned for the young man who's currently at Rhode Island Hospital, and we're very disappointed uh, with the two young men who obviously use some very bad judgment. Police say a witness gave them descriptions of Lacey and Still. They were spotted blocks away. Lacey had blood on his shirt and Still had cuts and blood on his hands. Their coach is taken back by it all. You're very surprised and you're hurt and, and your, your teammates are hurt, but uh, your thoughts also go to the, to the young men that were involved in this. The random act of violence towards a student is something that is not something that I will tolerate as the athletic director. But because the attack was so random and so brutal, Providence College students are now questioning their safety. That's what's scary about it, because you, you're never safe. Well, both men are charged with felony assault tonight. Still has posted $10,000 bond. Lacey is still being held on that amount. And the victim tonight remains in fair condition at Rhode Island Hospital. We're live at Providence College tonight with the Mobile Newsroom. I'm Alex Deprado, Eyewitness News.